Hi, if you're watching this video, then you're probably looking for something to help you with memory. Well, I've got a little tip that will really help um, <clears throat> with all the sort of the short term memory needs that you might have, particularly when going shopping or um, attending a meeting. If you stick around to the end of the video, then I've also got a, a free gift for you that will help you um, in lots of other ways, uh, particularly in meetings. So, uh, my name is Martin Hamilton and um, I'm a people development consultant. I've been helping uh, leaders and teams over the last 20 plus years to improve the performance. Um, and I keep getting asked the question about, well, how do you, how do you remember stuff? How do you improve your memory? <clears throat> so, here's a really simple tip. Uh, on, and it, it, I learned this in, in a workshop. Very, very simple tip. If you have a list of things that you need to remember, and it could be a shopping list or it could be a list of, it could be names of people in a meeting that you want to try to remember. You might be running a workshop yourself and you want to remember the names of the people in the room. So here's the simple way to do that. Build up a story around the people or the items that you're trying to remember. <clears throat> so for example, let's say I've got a shopping list and on my shopping list I've got pasta, rice and toothpaste. Okay, so how on earth am I going to remember that plus another seven other things? The simple thing to do, start to build up a story. So what I might say in my head is, okay, so uh, there is a pasta chef who is paddling around in the rice fields while uh, brushing his teeth. So now I've got this image in my head of this uh, slightly bizarre image, I have no doubt, but uh, this image in my head of this, this person wandering around in the paddy fields uh, brushing his teeth. So that's that will remind me that I need pasta, rice and toothpaste. And so if you've got more items that you need to remember, you just elaborate the story until you have a Goldilocks and the Three Bears or a Little Red Riding Hood type story um, that, that just incorporates all the items uh, that you need to remember. As I say, the same thing works with people's names in a meeting too. So try it out. Have a go next time you're in a in a meeting, uh, especially one where you don't. It doesn't really matter. Just see when people are going around the room, creeping death, around the room, introducing themselves. See if you can build up a story using using their names. Good. So there we go. There's a little top tip that will help you. At the very least, it'll help you with the weekly shop. So uh, if you find that um, little tip helpful, then um, it would do me a great service if you could give it a, a thumbs up and like it. Um, better still, uh, share it. It always helps the, uh, the algorithms um, to work well. Um, and maybe this tip can then get to some other people to, uh, if, if you've got comments on that or tips uh, yourself on how to improve short term memory, then stick them into the comments box below. <clears throat> it's always good to get some, some fresh ideas uh, and gather them together in the same space. So uh, thanks very much for, for joining. Um, one last thing, I did promise that uh, if you stuck around to the end, there was a free gift for you. Uh, so down below in the uh, description of this video, you'll find a link to uh, a guide specifically for um, meetings and how to improve performance in meetings. And it includes um, tips just like the one I've given you um, and, and a good deal more. I uh, hope you find that really helpful. So don't forget to click on the link and um, see you on the other side. Thank you very much. Bye-bye now.